Oh, shoot. The alarm's going off. Wait a sec. Why is it 8.30? Oh, I set the alarm for 6 a.m., man. Shoot. I thought I did. I must have set it for 8.30. Darn it. Well, I gotta hop in the shower quick. probably take a leak and then we're good to go it's the first day of corn harvest brother so what i'm gonna do is we're gonna take the razor quick and run out to the cornfield uh we're gonna skip breakfast i'll get breakfast later but i want to test moisture before we get going on the cornfield because it's gotta be the moisture's gotta be under under 17 percent at least we have a dryer but i don't want to dry the corn that much i'd rather have a lot of it get basically air 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 drying and if you guys see the trees are completely have turned the, the trees have turned i guess uh but no it looks fantastic like literally oh man when i woke up when i it, they've been slowly turning but man it's just gorgeous across the map it just feels like fall smells like fall just amazing so i'm literally so pumped we have the combine literally ready to rock and roll right here i've just been waiting for the past couple of days it's rained i know i probably should have left the combine out in the rain but i I'm just so excited. So I'm going to dive deep in here and then we're going to take some of this corn and we'll just take different samples and I'll put in my moisture tester. I got a little portable one and we'll see what the moisture's at. It's not too accurate, but it's, it's somewhat close. Ah, shoot. So it's showing moisture's at 20, over 22% and uh, like there's no way I'm harvesting this corn there. It may be a little muddy in some areas. I think we'll be fine with the mud, but the corn's still a little too wet. Luckily, I've had a backup plan and that is... Let me pull up my iPad here. And that is to harvest this field right here. It's like the no name field, but I bought this. It's a small 40 acre piece and it's got soybeans. And if you guys remember, we planted soybeans super early on this field. So what we could do is run the combine down there and harvest these soybeans. I really want to get harvesting corn, but corn's not ready. The soybeans are ready down here. It's a little bit of a trip, but it'll be a fun trip. Yo, Austin. Yo. How you doing, man? You ready to harvest? Oh. Good, yeah. Okay, yeah. so we gotta change the plans, man. No corn harvest. Oh. You know I was super pumped to harvest corn, but uh. we can't do it. Yeah. Why? What's up? What's uh, up with it? It's got 22% moisture, which is just way too much right now. Ooh, yeah, so, yeah. That's so what I'm thinking is we'll take the combine over to uh, the 40 acre piece on the other side of, other side of the county, and uh, I don't know. I'll drive the combine, and then I think does it, this this oh shoot the STS doesn't have a hitch underneath it. That's right. That's right. I totally forgot about that. So oh, then yeah. I think you'll have to pull the header behind me and then we'll have to run back and grab like gravity wagons. I don't think we need the grain cart for this. It's only 40 acres and you can just pull the gravity wagons up beside me. I don't think we'll need yeah. a grain cart. It's just not worth it to bring the grain cart for this. So uh, I'll give you a ride back and then you'll pick up the gravity wagons. Sound like or, a plan? Or hold on. If you okay. Really want okay. It, okay. We could take the trail, the header trailer and hook that up to the gravity wagon that is are you sure you can handle that do you think we could try we could try uh <laughs> oh shoot dude i mean technically it's not it's not illegal you know what we're all we're going to do is take these dirt roads too like i yeah, think we'll be yeah, fine just the di dirt roads right down there so okay i this is the lazy man's way and it adds more risk to it but i'm down to do it man i'm down to do it we gotta do what we gotta do all right all right okay so all the uh, it, the hardest part is probably gonna be backing up to that that uh, that header trailer. Yeah, we'll get it. You're gonna have to swing crazy wide too, dude. Just so you know, okay? Yeah. You got I know. her now. I know. Okay. Yeah, I got her. Okay, I'll have you lead too, and I'll follow you with the combine. All right. But I'll meet you over there. Okay. So for now, the razor is just gonna stay here. I'll come back and get this, but I gotta get the combine over there first. So we gotta drop off. You know what? It's not really gonna rain in the next couple of days, and I don't. We don't really have another header trailer for this. I know it's horrible, but what we gotta do is we probably gotta just put this header right on the blocks. So I'm gonna grab some blocks, and we'll put blocks underneath it, and just basically block up this header so we can come grab it uh, for harvesting corn. I'm just gonna leave it right here. So let me go grab some blocks quick. We'll do that. So I have blocks underneath it, so that way. It doesn't get all, I don't, I don't know. I just thought it'd be better to kind of keep it off, off the ground a little bit. So then we'll attach to this once we get to corn, which is not going to happen today. Unfortunately, I was really pumped too. It's like, it's a perfect harvest weather today. 65 degrees. It's going to get to 65 degrees and sunny, hopefully. The thing is, is the beans may not be ready this morning. So it'll take us kind of all morning to probably get moved over there. So by the time we get over there, hopefully it'll be ready. 
By the way, as always, if you guys are enjoying the roleplay series, please hit that like button. It seriously helps out and it helps out the video a lot. It gets suggested more across YouTube. More people watch it. It helps me out a lot. It's not a number thing. It's more of it actually helps out the video a lot. So I'd appreciate it. Uh, but it'd just be awesome if you guys are enjoying it, I guess. Holy crap, Austin's going crazy with that power washer, dude. Okay, so um, are you, okay, so what we'll do is, what tractor do you want to take? You can take the 7R 8130. Mm, doesn't matter to me. Okay. Honestly, I don't care. Uh, just take the 8130 then, since it's real close. Okay. Okay, so I'm thinking what I'll do is, well first, we'll move the 7200R out of the way. I'll unhook my truck from this, and then you're gonna back up this, unless we could push it. Do you think we gotta push it, like, up to it? Probably not. I don't think so. No, no, there's no way. Yeah, and then you'll just back up those gravity wagons to this header cart. All right. There we go. Truck is moved, and then he's gonna back her up. Oh, he's gonna try backing her on that. Okay, I was gonna move that tractor out of the way for him, but... Okay, he's got it. Let's see those backing skills. This is gonna be so tough, dude. This is like, I don't know what type of person can even do this. I feel like we gotta get this a lot closer for him. So, we tried it, and unfortunately, it didn't have the right hitch on the back. It wasn't It wasn't gonna work out. So, it's gonna be a little longer getting there. Uh, what we'll have to do is probably hook the truck back up. Austin, do you wanna hook the truck back up to it? Yeah, sure, mine and yours. Uh, you can go ahead and hook, uh, you can go ahead and hook the Ford up to it. Okay. Oh, holy crap, dude, you're quick. Okay, there we go. Hey, nice. Okay, so if you want to take that over, I'll just follow you with the combine, and then uh, we'll drive back and get the tractor. All right. Well, guys, it's about a 40-minute drive over there, probably with a combine, so uh, doing 19 mile an hour doesn't help. I wish this combine went a little faster. It's fine for now. We're only taking dirt roads over there, so it's not it's not too bad. It won't be too bad. I'm about there. I think, uh, I think Austin's already there. He's probably waiting for me up here. But we're close. Austin, man. Yeah. Okay, so uh, if you want to drop the header here, I'll, uh, I'm trying to think. You know what? Dude, we're idiots. What we could have done, <laughs> dude, I don't know why I'm not thinking about this, but we took back roads. I didn't even see any cars. What we could have done is I could have just took the header with my combine. So you mean you're an idiot and I'm not? I'm an idiot. Yes, yes. There. Not my place. I, true, true. Good point. Good point. I'm an idiot. Correct. Yes, I'm an idiot. Yeah, it probably, it would have been tight through some places, but it would have saved us some time. It would it would have, for sure. So, uh, right. you driving or me driving? Nah, I'll let you drive. Okay. Well, I dropped off Austin off, and he's in the 8130 behind me. So, we should be there in probably 10-ish minutes. We're pretty darn close. So, these beans, most likely, I think what I'm going to do is sell them right away. I'm going to have Austin just run them straight to the co-op. But the thing is, is Jake's co-op that we like to sell at is closed right now. Um, some of the other co-ops are open. Jake's co-op has a little different hours. And so we may have to go sell at some of the other co-ops, unfortunately. Because uh, I always like to do business with Jake and stuff, but it's not open right now. And so I got to get these sold. So I'll, I'll kind of figure that out. Okay, and we made it. So this is the bean field that we have to harvest. Uh, I got to make sure everything's good with it but there's about uh, there's a little over 40 acres here uh that needs harvested here so it'll be it'll be a good start to harvest so right now it's still a little too wet for these beans so what we're gonna do is me and austin are gonna head to lunch and hopefully by the time we get back from lunch maybe a quick nap i'm thinking these beans will be ready unfortunately we're dealing with a lot of moisture here and right now they're just not ready to go so what do you want to eat buddy Ooh, i don't know it's up to you because you're paying uh, darn it. I kind of want some Casey's, but we could go, we could go to like a, a bar and grill somewhere, de somewhere in, uh, in more or something like that. Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm down. Okay. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What about Domino's? I'm down for Domino's. Where, uh, Burksville? Yeah, sure. Okay. Change of plans. Austin here really wanted Texas barbecue and I was down with that. Hey. So we're going to Texas barbecue, man. Whatever you want. You want a 32 ounce steak? I'll get you a 32 ounce steak, brother. Sounds good. Oh man, that was good. I think we beans should be ready by now. Yeah. Okay, you want to head back Hopefully. out there? You got the bill, right? Yeah, sure. What? Are, what? What? That <laughs> wasn't the deal. That I'm was joking. not the I deal. I got it. I got it. I got it here. All right. Oh, thanks for the food, guys. It was great. I think the beans are gonna be ready, so I'll fire up the combine and I'll pull her over here. If you want to help me hook up the header, and we can get going. All right. So right now this is kind of sketchy, but I'm gonna pull onto the road, and Austin here is gonna help me hook her up quick. But we gotta get going because this is. This is a busy highway here. He's got. We got to hold off traffic for a little bit. 
You think we're good right there? Yeah. Connect? Okay. Perfect. And there we go. We got her connected. So basically what he's going to do, I got to make sure. I almost backed into a pole right there, boys. But I got to make sure. Um, I got to start cutting beans and then Austin's going to. Sorry about that. I almost backed into a pole and then almost pulled forward into my truck. But what Austin's going to do is just come up next to me with uh, the grain cart or the gravity wagons. We're going to run gravity. Gravity wagons are going to be the grain cart, basically. That's what we're going to do here. Hopefully these beans are ready. There we go, they are. Okay, this isn't accurate right now, but it's saying we're yielding 95 bushels to the acre, which will just be insane if that's actually true. I don't know if that's gonna be true or not. Uh, I can tell, I gotta tell. Austin, you on the CB there? Yeah. Hey, right now, I probably won't need you for a while until I get okay. full. It's only yielding 95 bushels to the acre, but I'll let you know when I need you. All right, I'll, I'll take a quick nap in my tractor. Yo, Austin. Yeah. It'd be pretty sweet if uh, we had gaming PCs in the computer, right? Or in the in the, in the tractor. Yeah, in the tractor. Yeah, yeah, and I can put my Apex game PC in the tractor and play some farm sim while I'm farming. You know, I've seen some actual guys online that have done that. Really? Yeah. Dude, I could play farm sim while I'm driving the combine on auto steer, and then I could also play farming simulator on mobile. Even though farm sim on mobile, I hear it's just horrible. My my yeah. son says that all the time. I'm just like. Why are you even playing mobile, hey, dude? You, you gotta play Apex PC. Gaming PC. I got him an Apex Gaming PC for Christmas, yeah. Did you use uh, 10% off discount code squad? I did. I did, yeah. Nice. Yeah, that was, nice. uh, that turned out pretty good, though. So. Yeah. Maybe I should get one. I, yeah, I have you checked out the website yet? Uh, no. Check no, her out, man. It was pretty cool when I when I saw it. It was They had some good deals. Uh, they had the, I, I got the Squad Plus for my son, but I was thinking about getting the Squad Ultra. The squad Ultra might be nice. Yeah. You should take all your uh, money you gave, your two grand I gave you for uh, beating me in the tug of war by a squad <laughs> PC, huh? Huh? Uh, maybe, maybe. Yeah, but the one that I have currently kind of sucks, so maybe I'll do that. Shocked. This field is yielding. You can see right there, it's yielding close to 94 bushels to the acre, which is just insane for soybeans, man. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. We're gonna it's it's gonna be a good year, man. Maybe we'll see some more equipment coming around the farm. Who knows? Reinvest in the farm, buy some more land. But uh it's gonna be a good year if soybeans are I can't wait to see what corn yields though. That's what I'm really curious about. But soybeans yielding great. Well, I made basically a complete lap and we're almost a hundred percent full in here. We got about four hundred bushels. But Austin actually had to go run, which works out fine. Because it's soybeans, and we're not unloading that often, Austin, or that often, <laughs> that often. But uh, but he had, he had to go run. He got picked up by his girlfriend actually, and uh, I don't know. He said he had to go get like uh, I don't know. He said he, had, he he said he had to help her out with something. So um, he is going to be back soon, like 15 minutes though. So what we're going to do is just unload here. So I'll fill this gravity wagon, and I, we won't fill it completely because I got about 400 bushels in here, so that means we got about 280 bushels left to load in the gravity wagon, and then we'll fill the back one. I'm hoping we can get all of our grain off of this field pretty much on both these gravity wagons. I don't, I, I, it's yielding so good. I don't know if that's going to happen, though. I think it's going to take us, uh, I think it's going to take us a couple gravity wagon loads of grain, which isn't a problem for me. More money. So, I'm happy. Hey, Austin, you there on the radio? Yep. Okay, so I have about 312 bushels in here, so we're about full. Uh, when I make this turn, I'm going to have you pull up beside me, and then we'll unload on the go there. That way we can stay more efficient. Alrighty. There we go. Hold about 6 mile an hour, and that should be good. Alright. Sorry, there's not much room. I didn't realize I was oh, going to get this big ahead of I'm adjusting my cruise controls all. Okay. There we go. Keep going. It'll be good. Nice. And then I think what I'm going to do is I got two headlands in, so I'm going to just turn back around and I'll just, uh, I'll keep going back and forth this way. Could work good that way. Looks like your front wagon is close to being full. How much room you got left in there, you think? Uh, we got about 5% room left. Okay. Then I can stop and we can, uh, you can scooch right. up a little bit. You ready for the next one? Yep. Okay. Shoot, we're spilling a little, brother. There we Come go. On. I turned Come it off. On. You're good, you're good. So we didn't get that unloaded completely. Um, so since I'm going back and forth, I won't be able to unload going this way. So Austin's going to have to wait until I kind of get down to that other end there. Okay, Austin, I'm about to make this turn here. And then we'll unload on the go again. I got about 230 bushels to unload. We should probably unload it now because I'm not going to make it 
down and back again. Uh, we'll do it now here. Tell me when you're ready. All right, we should be good now. Okay. Oh shoot, I'm spilling a little bit. Oh shoot, slow down, slow down. Uh, there we go. Okay, speed up, speed up. How are those gravity wagons doing, by the way? Are they doing good? Are they trailing fine? Yeah, they seem to be. Okay. So that red one we had uh, that was down, I actually took that back and they gave me a new red one. I was wanting a green one, but then I was like, we're gonna have one green one, one red one. So I was like, okay, give me, fine. I'll take the red one again. So they gave me a different gravity wagon. They said it was just a thing that happens with those J&Ms. So I have four J&Ms, which just made me crap my pants even more that they just said that, that it just happens with those, that the axle just breaks like that. So, hey, I, I haven't had anything happen to these green ones, so. Yeah, if we've had them, yeah, I know, we've only had, we haven't had them long, though, that's the only thing. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I'm good. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm empty. Right. So, Austin's gonna switch me places. He's waiting here. He's gonna run the combine for a bit. That way he gets some experience under his belt. And then, uh, I think he can make it another pass up and down before we have to unload. It's gonna be close, but I'm gonna see if he can't make it. I, I think he can. Yeah, you got it, Austin? Yep. Okay, so I'm thinking we won't have to unload on this pass going down because uh, okay. we got some room yet in there. So I'm going to have you go all the way down and then come back up and then we'll unload on the pass going back down after you do that. All so. right. Okay. Okay. Have fun. So there he goes. And then let me check how much grain we got in here. Okay, so this is completely full. Let me go check the back one. It looks like we got some room in the back one yet. Climb the ladder here. Oh, yeah. We got some room yet in here. Okay, so... We may be, I don't know if we'll be able to fit the whole, we'll be able to fit the whole field in these gravity wagons and the combine if we combine them, I think. Okay, so Austin's going to turn around down here and this is where we'll unload. Yo, Austin, you there? Yep. How much, uh, what do you got for grain? Are you almost full? 83%. Okay, there we go. I'm coming underneath. You got cruise control set? Yeah, six mile an hour. Okay, I'm going to try to get the back one. This might be a little challenging, man. Holy crap. Right there? Yep. You good? Okay. Nice. Am I going too fast or are we good? Uh, I think we're good. Perfect. How do you like running that combine? That's a nice machine. <laughs> yeah, it is. The Draper might be a little bit too big for it. Other than that, it's uh, it's good. Yeah, it seems to run it fine. My gravity wagons are completely full, man. I think what I'll have to do is run to the elevator quick and dump them. Oh, the 8130 trucking uphill, dude. We can only do... We're dropping speed, actually. We got a lot of weight behind us, though. Holy crap. So I got my iPad up here, and it looks like the closest elevator for soybeans. I thought soybean prices were a lot better than what they actually are. Darn it. Uh, so we're going to still get 20 bucks for a bushel, which is really good. Don't get me wrong. Uh, let's see if there's one that's close. Biodiesel's not bad. Or Crisco. I gotta pull up my map. So either Biodiesel or Crisco's pretty similar. Crisco's actually in Burksville right here. Okay, that's literally right down the road. That'll work perfect. So I'm gonna run there. You can see how much we have done here. This is what we have left, and this is what we've completed. So not much. And we are hitting the road. Hopefully we can get up to 32 mile an hour. It may take us a while, but I think this tractor will do it. There's a lot of weight behind us though. 24, 25. There we go. <laughs> we hit the gear. We are cruising at 32 mile an hour. I apologize, Jake, if you're watching the vlog, but your guys' co-op was closed today, so we couldn't make it over there, unfortunately. So we'll go to Cresco. Austin, you there on the CB? Yep. Do you need anything from the gas station? I'll swing through there after I'm done if you need anything. Stickers, bar, anything like that? Uh, piece of pizza and a monster might be nice. I got you, man. Okay, so we're, holy crap, dude, if I had duels on this tractor, I don't think we would have made it through here. Kind of more meant for semis, but we're going to pull through here, then I'll unload this. So both of these wagons are on loan right now. As you can see, they pay us pretty much as they're coming in, which is kind of nice. Uh, so we'll see how much money we get. It'll be it'll be a really good amount here. So we got $33,000 from both for both gravity wagons, which was what, 1360 or 1380 bushels is what we just sold here. That's nice, that's real nice. And we got some more coming off that field too, which we'll sell right away. Okay, so I kind of cut around back and I don't want to pull the tractor because there's the gas station right there. I don't want to pull the tractor through the gas station. What I'm gonna do is just park the tractor right here on this back road and I'll run in and grab my stickers and pizza. 
Oh, brother. Yeah, it's a little wet out there in the soybean field, but we're getting it done. Shoot, they only had pepperoni pizza. But I got him one. Hopefully he likes it. Austin, you there? Yeah. Uh, I didn't ask, but what's your favorite pizza? I honestly, as long as it's not vegetarian pizza, I'm G. Okay, I got you pepperoni. Hopefully you're cool with that. Perfect. Oh, shoot. It looks like Austin's full down there. Looks like we're almost done, too. Nice. Well, it looks like Austin's on his last pass over there. And then uh, we'll be done with this field. This is great. So we got the first 40 acres out or so. We don't we don't farm that many acres. I was thinking about picking up some land, but I don't know if we got it done. There is one farm available that is for sale right now. And like if I bought it on the contingencies, I'd have that I I I buy the farm and I get a harvest it this fall. So that'd be kind of cool. I don't know if I'm gonna buy that farm yet or so. They'll probably harvest the crop before I even buy it. So uh, but that'd be kind of cool to buy that farm too. We could always do some custom harvesting. There's always farmers in need. Looks like he's done over there. So we're going to head over kind of to the truck. And then we'll probably get packed up and start heading back. We got done. Man, that field yield is good, too. That was great. Oh, yeah. Yep. That was good. Uh, <laughs> uh, who's running the combine right now, man? Oh. It just automatically on it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We itself. won't. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say the, the green cart won't, or the, the gravity wagon won't fill up all the way. So that'll work no, good. No. Uh, okay. So we'll pack up and start heading back. That was good. Good work out of you today, man. Good work. Yeah. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you guys want, I'll have Austin's channel link down below in case you want to check out his channel. Consider checking out his channel in the link down below. Uh, he helped out today. He didn't record this, actually, but he just helped out kind of for fun today, which was nice. Right now, I'm walking to a random person's house. I'm about to go to their house, so we're going to get out of the yard quick. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hey, I'll see you later. Thanks, guys.